Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Do you have hearing problems? Have you ever heard of this thing called an acoustic neuroma? It's a tumor in your brain. What if I told you that chiropractic adjustments could change the way you hear? Check out this professional martial artist story about his journey to have better hearing. I have an acoustic neuroma. Been diagnosed two years ago, and been affected my ear. I have a constantly, you know, tendinitis in the ear. What's your accent? Where are you from, sir? Brazil. Brazil. And what is your sport? What do you do? Uh, I'm a master in capoeira, practitioner of jiu-jitsu, and muay thai. Gotcha. And so uh, you take a lot of abuse in your sport, and you've never ever had any problems before these two years ago, right? No. And so he went in because he started to lose his hearing, thought maybe it was probably an injury, and then they did an MRI. Yeah, it affected my ear and my balance and everything. What have you done for treatment, sir? Um, I've been doing the laser therapy and the hyperbaric chamber. So. Okay, so we also have some history of a problem with um, sleep. Uh, has a little heartburn, not tons. A little numbness in his hands, left shoulder problem. But tell us what else is going on, sir. Anything else? Left knee, right ankle, left shoulder. Yeah, pretty much he's here for hearing, which I'm think I'm stoked with. Uh, go ahead and touch those. Good. Any pain, discomfort, or tension in your back? What's tension? You said the uh, number. Now four. Four. Gotcha. Go back like this, sir. And what is that? Five. Five. Gotcha. With your neck, look down. Not nothing. nothing. Look at the ceiling. Zero. Now you guys see his range of motion when he's doing this. Arm over your head, please. Tension in your shoulder. Four. Four. Back on your back, please. Two. Two. Okay, it was a five minute ago, but that's yeah. fine. Squat to the ground. How much tension in your ankles, knees? And, and their ankles. And how much was like it? Like four or five. Four or five. It was a six a minute ago, so it's changing a little bit. Let's check his hearing. So come a little closer, please. What's no. the difference? Big difference. I hear not on the right side. Got you, hear nothing. Tons and tons of arthritis in his neck. Hey guys, we have a 10 millimeter right imbalance and 18 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a 10 millimeter right short leg, seven degree lumbar curve. Here we have face rear neck arthritis, one half atlas square and a high reverse curve, pretty bad one. Here we have hyperlordosis and lumbar arthritis. Good. This way. Oh. Good. I felt the whole body. You felt the whole body? Like where? Yeah, and to the feet. You felt, you mean like, the neck adjustment? You felt all the way into your feet? On my feet. Like shaking, like vibrating. Is that crazy? The whole bones vibrating yeah. in the feet. Oh. Same thing. Same thing? Left leg or right leg? Left this time. Left leg, okay. Now, um, how was that different than the other chiropractic adjustment you had? Much, very much. How is it different? Because everybody wants to know. Is all chiropractic adjustments the same? No, no way. Not even close, right? No way. It was like very intense. Yeah. Alan's having fun seeing the differences between other chiropractors and my work. But now we're going to give him the chance to see how he feels. We're telling him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. So he's kind of staying still, looking straight ahead, taking it all in. Let's listen in and see how he is doing. Feel more like balance my focus somehow. Like I told you, right? I say mm -hmm. number one thing I told you before we started shooting this video is that you feel more focused, right? Yeah, as even the eyes like more stable in the center. Some people kind of say it's like HD, like it feels like the your TV sharper. Yes, it feels more sharp, more focused. Cool. Does that feel cool? More balanced. Yeah, it feels awesome. Yeah. Now we're saying Alan down the hallway to what? Recalibrate. We're gonna spread that neck adjustment through his entire body by walking. So let's listen in, see how he's doing. My balance, my focus, my stable, my on the center of things, yeah. Right. And you thought he had good balance. Remember, we, had, we argued about this with your wife. Yeah. And you can feel it instantly, because again, you're an athlete, so you feel when small things mm -hmm. happen. It's a big, dip, big deal, huh? And you feel probably more calm, too. Yes. Less anxiety, huh? More relaxed. Yeah. How long have you been dealing with anxiety over the years? We haven't even talked about it online. A lot of anxiety is difficult. Yeah, but now you feel a little more under control, right? Yes. Believe. Crazy. And so again, it's instantaneous when done correctly. It's not that I can't help people when they come to my office, it's that it doesn't hold. We have to talk about muscle memory, we'll talk about that uh, in the future, but again, good start so far, right? Good, let's check yes, how so you feel. Bit over touch to your toes, please. I think it was a four you said a minute ago. 
kind of three two no so definitely less right less okay yes. now go back like this and that's the one that'll blow your mind yeah three two two so did i touch your back yeah. no no adjustment, right? No. No rubbing? No. I didn't look at your ass or anything like that either, right? No. I yeah. hope oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is better. Okay, so uh, next, uh, look at the floor, please. Okay, look at the ceiling. Any difference there? He has more movement. More movement, right? Yes. Okay, in your technical thing you do, would more movement and better balance be a good thing for your sport? Ah, uh, yes. It's all about balance and position. Isn't that funny? So, you know, it's not about paying guys, it's about making people better athletes. I'm making you a better athlete right here on camera. You already feel it. Good. So let's uh, squat to the ground, please. You're gonna blow your mind on this one. How's oh that? yeah, how's the that? crash is the way better. How's that crappy ankle? Even to come back is easier. Yep, and how much more strength do you have, too? Yes, yes, yes. You feel like you can pop on the ground better? A little, a little more pop? Yes. It's better, it's better. I still feel the pressure in the ankle, but it's less. Yeah, 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 right? So, but more movement. And you're, not mo and you're not avoiding it now. now no, no, more yeah. movement and more agility to come back. Yeah. yeah, exactly, and the power is different too. Yeah. So stand up your toes 10 seconds. Wow. Yes. I mean, you guys can't pick this up on camera. I still feel a little bit off, but much better. But, I mean, right on, right? right yeah. yeah, it's more, more like you say, confidence. Yeah, it's more confidence. So nice. Last thing, guys, come closer, please. Still nothing. Still nothing? No. Yeah, that's too bad. Mm. I was hoping. Yeah, the aromas throw me off a little bit. Much different. I've been watching your videos, of course. I already came here because I have faith in work. But experience itself. Different than when you watch right? Yes, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, when you yeah. watch, you always hope that you're gonna have this kind of results, right? Yeah, like you say, man, to to hope and to see and to feel is another thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So thank you very much for the video. You're uh, welcome. Thank we'll get you. he's here for a week, guys. So we're definitely gonna get another video on him. So thanks again. We'll see you guys next time. So Alan, where do you think you're at so far? Um, the movement got better. My movement. hands and the joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wake up feeling more energy, more fresh. Like as I'm last night I first slept late, but I woke up I didn't feel like I first slept late. It feels gotcha, gotcha. like my energy was good. Yeah. That's something different. Mm -hmm. But at the time I got just the ten nineties and my ear for some reason goes louder after we do the adjustment. Okay. And tell us about your balance. This is a big thing. Balance way better. First thing I notice. Yeah. Balance and focus on the eyes more. Yeah, focus on the, the eyes. Like everything seems more clear. Yeah. So how is balance affecting you? How do you notice this? I mean, people are really interested because again, I it's always just... feel a little bit off on the balance and my training and everything. After I feel more center. Yeah, in your hips, right? In my hips, very here, like more center, yeah. mind control of the body, more comfortable yeah. too, more loose, yeah, more yeah, relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in your uh, profession, in what you do, a balance is really key, right? It's very important. And so don't you train to have better balance? Don't you do things to have better balance? Yeah, it's I like do. All the time, right? Yes. And so this adjustment gave you better balance. Over right away. It's right away. Yeah, yes. gotcha. Go ahead and squat and show us what that feels like. Good. How's the ankle? It's better, no pain. I feel a little pressure. A little pressure. Better movement, better movement. no pain. Yeah. Tell us about the other thing too. You said for weeks, or I forget weeks, you couldn't even lean forward. This morning you told me you couldn't lean forward. Yes, ankle. this movement, like when I close and it goes here, uh -huh. that wouldn't happen. You couldn't let you Without couldn't do lifting it. here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now you can lift. Now you can do that. Now I can do it, uh, yeah. How about the left knee too? Better too. So let's check this here real quick. Again, this is not going to be much different, but we'll see. I feel something a little bit. So it's actually different. Yeah, try it again, please. Yeah, I feel a little bit very low. Oh, so this is news to us, guys. No, I didn't know. The first time I felt very low, but I felt sensation. That's the first time. Yeah, that's I noticed the first time. something. So a tiny bit of improvement. Yeah, very, very. Yeah. We did this the other day. Stand over here. We did this for like. And he said he could hear it actually. No, I can't hear you. Yeah, but he for some reason he hear me talking, but he can't hear the vibrations and he can't hear the yeah. vibration of this. So we've been working on his posture and working on his relaxation. Good. That was intense. That was intense, right? Almost always after the adjustment. It oh, goes really? louder. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. 
Uh, it activated something, some yeah. vibration, different noises in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So again, I always say in my office that any change is good change because if we're affecting a symptom at all, that means we're doing something to fix it. Yes. Trying to break him down a little bit and have him learn how to relax and let his body use the skeleton rather than the muscles. And that's what we keep talking about, keep talking about. He's learning, he's learning. Yeah, it's getting easier not to relax the shoulder. It's getting easy. It's very hard. Very hard, yeah. It's getting... And again, if you see him on the previous video, see his posture's like a significant event. And we've only done one thing on him. We've been working on it and working on it. So thanks for the update. You're welcome. Thank okay. you so yeah, much. No problem.